Alrighty, so as you can see, Thursday night, about 10 o'clock, it is snowing. Um, it looks worse in uh, real life than it is on the camera, especially being like in the light right there. Uh, it's quite windy. Snow is quite blowing. The snow. Hold on. No, you're not jumping in the window, you idiot. No, you're. <laughs> Want to go in the window? Go on. Get up there. You'll figure it out real quick. Anyways. So it started, I want to say, about 8.30. We're kind of in the outer band. We're expected to get about a foot. Not, you know, four feet. That's that's like a south buffalo kind of thing. Pretty much anything under where Canada is. So, which is like downtown Buffalo, south buffalo kind of thing. Um, that's the area that's supposed to get four feet up here in Tonawanda. Not so much, maybe about a foot. Because we're kind of like on the outside of the band. But, of course, that's just guesses. Uh, it's lake effect, so you're pretty much just guessing. So, we'll kind of see how it looks. There's definitely probably... I don't know, two inches maybe on the ground already. More of the southern here has gotten been hit all day. And uh, I just came up here at about 8.30, so it's been going for about an hour, hour, hour and a half. Pretty good snow flurries. James will be, uh, won't even be home for a couple more hours. Hopefully they'll um, let them out early and not even make them stay till 11, because, uh, it's getting uh, bad out there. So we'll kind of see in a couple hours how it uh, goes. There's also a travel ban, too, that took effect at about 9. Obviously, there's still people out driving. And then there's this moron who's parked on the street. Uh, hopefully, they move and are not going to impede the plows. So we'll kind of check in in a little bit. Alright, so it's 11 o'clock now. Snow is gone. It left about... I don't know, probably half hour ago, the real heavy stuff. Uh, was There was a little bit of flurries going, but it's completely gone now. The car that was there has moved, so that's good. So, uh, no plows. The town usually comes by in the middle of the night um, when there's absolutely no one there. And the county comes by whenever they get to it. So, I did hear them w once earlier, the county. And there's a, their highway barn is right over there. So, um, I expect I'll see them at some point, or hear them at some point. I did hear one round of thunder snow as well. I did hear a good crackle of thunder at one point. Well, James did get home, uh, early. They got to leave like an hour early, so he made it home. Which is good, so. That's what it's looking like down there. I did just, uh, look at the weather again. And uh, Kenmore is supposed to get 12 to 18, though. I'm not sure if that's like total or what, how long it'll be. I'll have to watch and see. But uh, it's November part two, and uh, we've already got more snow than we did the first in actual November. Uh, the snow never came up here. Uh, it never came up to the North Towns at all, in the South Towns. So it's, we'll get something out of it. And actually, it's November. I'm pretty sure it was. I think it was or, would have been earlier in, earlier in the week. I remember for, for school we got, I think it was two days. We only had to go in for two days. Two or three days the week before, and then it was Thanksgiving, so there was a three-day week. Because I remember it was the week before Thanksgiving. So we'll kind of see if the snow returns at some point tonight. It probably will um, in the morning after I've gone to bed. Uh, it'll probably come back. But other than that, that's kind of it for um, uh, Thursday night. We'll have to see in Friday morning what it looks like. I kind of don't know if you can tell really in the tracks in the street. It's definitely like probably three or four inches. Maybe. Not, not a lot. So I guess we'll see in the morning. Uh, unless the snow returns. Alright, so this pretty much is... This is the latest thing that I was talking about. As you can see, the Kenmore 12 to 18, but then Tana 1 to 4 to 8. There's like a sharp um, cutoff, and that's Friday by 6. And then kind of going into Saturday by 6. Then we're getting the 12 and 18. Yes. Oh, this is Saturday morning. Then we're doing 8 to 12. Can we're 8 to 18 to 24. And then like Lackawanna, like I said, South Buffalo. Anything that's south 
for Canada is that's where they're talking the three four feet of I'm snow. Forty fifty on Lancaster. Yeah, we, we just had a discussion with him, too, and he wasn't understanding. And then that's everyone else. Alright, I forgot to show you guys in the morning uh, what it looked like. What it, uh, it's, uh, uh, it wasn't too bad, of course. By the time I got off, it was 10.30. By the time I got out there, it seemed like it melted a bit, but it did seem like we had about 2-3 inches. Uh, on the ground, a little bit of, it was kind of melted on the bottom, so it was a bit of like a slush layer with ice. Um, but not that you can see, because our roads were cleared, and the uh, sidewalks, anything that was on them, the sidewalks pretty much melted, uh, mostly. So, not that you can't really see anything uh, down there, there's a bit of, uh, you can tell it's icy, and now that it's gotten... Uh, cold again because it was warm. Everything's frozen over so any moisture that was on the ground or any slush or any of that is all frozen over. Uh, there was absolutely no snow today up here. I know it was all down south all day long. Uh, I know Orchard Park is they're talking 50 plus inches. Uh, they were getting four or five inches an hour up here. Nothing. Uh, but it's supposed to It's kind of sound like very early t uh, Saturday morning, more like, uh, I want to say probably 2, I don't know, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the morning. Maybe not till like 6, 7, or 8 is when it'll start. And then it will uh, go all day Saturday up here at least for the uh, most part. I haven't checked the latest, uh, that was from yesterday, I haven't checked with the latest uh, radar and all that shows. There's the leaf pile peeking out. Uh, so... We'll see what it looks like tomorrow morning. It'll be completely different in theory. It's like I said, I still have to check uh, what the weather's going to be supposed to be uh, looking like for the next 24 hours up here in Tonawanda. Like I said, all the south towns got slammed all day long. And it's perfectly clear out, out here, up here. Uh, as you can see, no cars are not getting stuck. The roads are completely bare. Uh, the plows did a great job as they usually always do up here. So we'll see on, uh, you know, 12 hours what it looks like. <laughs> Alright, so I'll just watch the news here on a little bit and it's, yeah, I'm looking at the radar, it definitely seems like uh, we're not going to get the snow until probably like 6, 7 in the morning. So, other than that, we'll. Uh, the South Towns are still getting it, and uh, the snow will slowly make its way up here, and uh, maybe we'll get a foot. Uh, it's pretty much just going to be an all-day thing Saturday, uh, which is good that it's not all overnight, and you just wake up to it all overnight, um, that it's during the day, so uh, you can kind of continuously clear it out. Um, and it's not just all all at once, like one time we did have a foot of snow that was all that was overnight. Um, so in the morning you have to dig out of a foot of snow, so it's good that it's during the day. Easier to dig out of. But we will see how bad it gets. Alright, it's 2 a.m. I'm about to go to bed and I took a last look outside and it's starting to snow. And you guys can't really tell because it's blurry. Come on. Focus. So you can kind of see them. Okay, it's starting. It doesn't really seem like it's sticking. But it started, so that's good. Yeah, you can you see it? All right, it's 2 a.m. I'm about to go to bed, and I took one last look outside, and it's starting to snow. You can see it there in the uh, street light. It's not really sticking. It doesn't seem like, but it's uh, it's starting. Uh, it's definitely starting to s snow. Why is my gate open? So. We'll see what we get in the morning. Ugh, James must have not closed the gate. No, that's my. He knows it's my biggest pet peeve. Close the gate. So, we'll see what it looks like in the morning. 
All right, so I ventured outside. It's about 10 o'clock now. It started snowing about 2 a.m. It's it lightened up at the moment. It's not um, super heavy snowfall at the moment. So well, I took a took the time to come out here and we'll clear off this um, clear off what's fallen. It's six inches. I just measured it. Uh, see if we can recreate it. So it's about six inches and you figure it was down to bare concrete last night so, so that's it about six inches about six inches put it on top of the tote it uh rises to about seven from uh the snow beforehand so that's why i said I'll take this time while it's look at the stairs take this time to uh I don't even have anywhere to put this without losing it. Uh, seriously, there's not even a spot to put the tape measure here. We'll put it in the snowbank, I guess. So, and like I said, it started at about 2 a.m. It was pretty light then, and I'm assuming it obviously got, he got heavier as we got more into the morning. So, James isn't up yet. Uh, so maybe I'll wake him up with the snow lower when I get going here. But I'm going to dig it out. For now, I'm going down to her grandmother's. Dig out down there. And then uh, just wait for uh, wait a couple more hours and do this again. Roads haven't been plowed, I've noticed. So we'll see ya. All right, quick weather report update. James is there snowblowing. Here comes the town. Ready to bury everyone. So, yep, there they go. Burying our neighbors who clearly don't know what a winter parking ban is. They also park too far from the freaking curb. Well, that's just a normal problem. Oh, yep. Wonderful. <laughs> they see him standing there and completely just buried him in. Uh, I think they went to cut the corner. So now they just buried. Oh, yep. Cut the corner, I think. I got my snowblower back here. I think they cut the corner. Well, maybe not. Well, yeah. Everything James just did. And he's reburied himself. No, they didn't cut the corner. It just looked like it. Oh, they didn't cut it over far enough in the county lane. So, that's going to be worse later. When the county comes, because then it's going to go flying. It's going to be bad. Okay, we're probably back to the one to two inch an hour rate. What I didn't notice either is on the bottom, yeah, I'm gonna stand not at my snowblower, there's a layer of slush on the bottom, so it clogs the snowblower up. So this is a, a pain. I don't know if you can see it in my snowblower how it's on the auger and all that. If you clogged, you kind of got to scrape it out every once in a while. So I'm gonna go rescue James from being buried down there. And I still have to go down to her grandmother's. I'm gonna have to track down there. And uh, the snow is picked back up, so. Wonderful. Alright, it's about quarter after nine. And I don't think you can really tell on camera, but I can obviously tell in real life. It's uh, snowing pretty good. Like I said, I just just now noticed it was snowing. I don't know how long it's been uh, going for. I just happened to notice it's snowing. Uh, I never tried walks. It's not sticking uh, that well because I put rocks all down a couple hours ago. As anywhere there was moisture. Um, the wind froze it, so I went along pretty much the whole sidewalk and was sprinkling rocks all down, so that's why it's not sticking too well, and there's kind of like um, bare spots like that. Uh, so, like I said, it started, I don't, I don't know when it started, I just know, um, actually got up and looked outside, so I say it's kind of white outish. Uh, definitely reduced visibility, that's for sure, it's not. Um, super clear, but like I said, on video you can't really tell. It looks uh, pretty fine because I got good lighting. It's starting to snow in the house, so we'll see how this ends up turning up. Uh, how much snow we get? I think this will be this storm will be here for a couple hours. Uh, probably I don't know one or two, maybe two to three inches an hour. And like I said, a couple hours. I'm not quite sure how long it'll be sticking around for, but we'll find out. Uh, tomorrow how much more snow we're gonna get out of this storm 
Alright, it's 940 now. When I showed you it was probably hmm, like a half hour ago. It's uh, gotten quite worse. It's quite um, blowing. Um, not total. I mean, not complete 100% white out, but it's obviously very reduced visibility. Um, on this side, because of the street light makes it so much brighter. Like when I look out the front door, I can't see the other the other corner. Even that way, I can't see the other corner. I can see our neighbor's car that's about four houses down, but that's about it. I can't see uh, any farther than that. And like you can see the sidewalks, they're covered now. It's uh, the rock salt is not helping. It's beyond what the rock salt can do. Someone, as you can see, is out here. Out here driving in this, came down the side street, right down the middle. So it's uh, it's going good. Let's see. It's uh, going good. Normally I can see pretty far up the street, but not not right now. So we'll kind of continuously bring or continuously show you what it looks like as it gets worse. Uh, as it, you know, gets worse. <sighs> Alright, about 5 after 10 in the sidewalk, and, uh, it's about, it's becoming level with the, um, the mounds of snow from earlier. Uh, and you can see that's the line, um, that's the grass median, that's, that's where the bank is, and then, uh, the sidewalk is pretty much in dis in uh, dis I can't say it. You can't see the hill and where the sidewalk is because of the angle I'm at. Uh, they're driving with their hazard lights on. That's good. So, say, town just got dispatched on, uh, up and threw away for a car spun out. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's coming down good. As you can see, it overpowered the rock salt. And, uh, you can't it's pretty soon here it seems like uh, it's gonna be over the sidewalk will be over um, the bank so uh, this are the totes probably be the best uh, measurement they were about eight inches so I can measure those and see about uh, what it is now compared so can you see this the snow is flying in the house so you can see it was building up on the window where it's gonna be, from where it's hit the window. So, that's a 10 o'clock update. Roads are, have had more cars on it, I can see. I can tell there's now multiple tracks. So, we'll kinda just keep an eye on it and see how it goes. It's definitely gotten clearer. Like, I can see the red light from here, so. The, stuff, the visibility's gotten better, that's for sure. So. We will see how this pans out. All right, well, it's 10.30 now, and it's per... I mean, it's, it hasn't stopped, but it's let up greatly, so... Uh, will it be back? Who knows? Uh, although I don't think it will be... I don't think it'll be back tonight, so... Well, it was fun while it lasted. Definitely got a good snow fall out of it. I figured it was only here for... What, an hour or two? I noticed it at 9, it's 10.30 now. It's, and this is when I noticed it stopped. So it was here for, what, maybe an hour, hour and a half? Maybe two at the most, like, the intense part of it. Like I said, you can see it's still it's still snowing, but very lightly. Um, so maybe another couple inches. That was a nice big flake that just fell. So, well, I guess I'll, I'll keep watching. Keep checking back every, you know, hour or so. And see if, uh... And the, uh, it really picks up again, or if it's uh, done. Oh, and it's 10.30, which reminds me I was going to watch the 10 o'clock news. Or no, news is on at 11. I'll have to watch the 11 o'clock and see what uh, see what they say. If they, uh, it's, uh, if it's coming back, if it's gone, or what what it's doing. So, I mean, Kenmore Fire Department just requested um, all their personnel for storm standby yet. And you can see it's a little late for that, it seemed like. Unless it's coming back. And that was probably 15-ish minutes ago. So, I th 
Well, I'll have to just keep watching and waiting. Alright, so it's midnight. It hasn't snowed in quite a while. I did watch um, 11 o'clock news. It doesn't look like it's going to snow uh, at all again. Pretty sure we're done, so. But I just now noticed there's this trail that goes all the way across the street. And I'm pretty sure to the fence. I can't. It's dark uh, at the fence line. I can't see any further than that, but. Oh. There's a trail, and it goes up into the yard, and I'm assuming it goes over there somewhere. So, there's something crawling around. And we have rats in the backyard, and I did notice uh, this morning you could see all the rat, all the trails from where they were going. James has got traps set up everywhere, but they're, uh, I think, uh, a little too smart for the traps. They're not really falling for it. He does, he has gotten one. He's had one victim, but uh, they're not really falling for the traps. Uh, and there's freaking rat holes all over the place in the backyard. So... I'll say, other than that, is the county's come by. The main road's clear. The town hasn't come by yet. Uh, I don't think they're coming by by till uh, you know, midnight. Or probably not till, like, at least 2 or when the parking ban take takes effect is 2. It's uh, 2 to 6 in the morning, so I don't think they're coming back. Or they're coming through till then. Just so everything should be off the road. Uh, and the off chance that there is anyone still parked on the road, and they're really... There's no need to be this late at night. So, we'll see the mounds in the morning. Uh, I put my finger in the snow on the porch. It's about finger deep. Uh, and it's just on the porch. I didn't really... I haven't gotten out into the actual concrete to see how deep it is. So... There's a car to by. So, I uh, will have to see in the morning how deep it uh, actually is. And then... Uh, I may be able to tell if, uh, there is, if, the, uh, there is any additional snowfall after what's happened. As you can see in the street light, there's nothing falling, absolutely nothing. So, we'll see what the morning, uh, looks like. Alright, Monday morning, or Monday morning, Sunday morning, 9.30. The wind is picked up, it's definitely a lot colder out here. Well... And now the steps are re really icy. I hope that's just because of where it got walked on last night when James went out to the shed. Although I see it over here too, and no one walked over here. Well, this is just kind of slushy. I should sure be able to just scrape that off, I hope. I don't want round two of uh, everything's covered in ice. So, I came out here. It's not. I mean, it's hard to tell in here because I think the winds came whipping through here because that's. They're coming from the west, and that's the west, so I think they went through, like, the driveway, so I can't really tell. They don't seem that deep. Like, on the porch, I know it was finger deep, now it's like an inch. So, obviously, there's definitely been snow movement. That's for sure. Town, once again, came over, plowed the bank, and spilled it onto the sidewalk. Sounds about right. So, I actually wanted to measure the sidewalk out there for an uh, accurate... See if I can get it, how much felt last night. Those might be relatively untouched. Everything else I think has been wind is tampered with. Yeah, it's definitely slush on the bottom, and that's because I put the rocks all down. So as long as I can get the slush out before it, the wind whips it and freezes it, should be fine. I put the tape measure in the backyard. It measured. It came in at about eight inches. Which means that we didn't get much from uh, last night. And I put it on the tote and it went down. It was six inches. So obviously this has been... Um, the wind has whipped it off where it's kind of compacted, compacted down on itself. So that's not really going to be a good measurement spot. But anyways, I'm going to get started in cleaning this crap up. As I'm sure you can hear the neighbors behind me have started already. James isn't, James isn't up yet, but that's... Uh, this problem, I know yesterday he didn't wake up till 10 either and seen, and he saw that I already started by the time he got up. Uh, but, uh, we get started. Then I want to show you back here, those rat tracks. The tr rat tracks I'm talking about. The ones I've seen on the side yard, those look like they went behind, like behind the house and behind the shed to one of the holes over there. These are different ones leading to whatever other holes exist. I don't know, that's 
That thing has rats. If it is a rat, they go around the trash can and disappear. Must have went in his yard. See how much snow is in the shed, too. This doesn't quite feel right. There's always a little layer of snow in the shed. Nope. Nope, just a little layer. Alright, it's about quarter to five, kind of windy, but I'm going to do a, well, quarter to five Monday night, I'm going to do a final little update and kind of recap off this, uh, it's November part two. So, we got more snow up here than we did the first time up. You can see it's nice and dry, everything's down to bare concrete, at least in our yard, and most people's yards at this rate, everything's starting to melt. Um, like right here, there's a little bit of ice and stuff that was still left, um, Got that all scraped off real quick. Still kind of icy on the surface, and uh, it will be, because uh, it'll tonight it'll go back down to freezing, and then any moisture is all gonna freeze over. So, wait, see on the sidewalk too, all the salt stains and everything from the salt. So, like I said, that's it for the storm. We up here got it pretty mild, only about it. I'd say eight to nine inches, based off my measurements, about eight to nine inches. So not bad. Compared to obviously down in Orchard Park, Linca or uh, Lackawanna, and then I uh, see some of it. It's still some of it's still semi-frozen. Only kind of like the top surface is melted, and you can see the totals are way down in the uh, actual grass. So it's definitely going to be warm over, uh, during the daytime over the next couple of days. So it'll probably all melt. Uh, just keep melting down. So the storm was nowhere near. As severe as it uh, could have been, we could have got more snow, but uh, this is as much as we got. James has got paths all over the place. A lot of pine needles that fell, and then there's still trees that had leaves on them as well. So a lot of uh, leaves, like in our front tree, it's not all down. There was plenty of leaves everywhere on top of the snow. As you see, the tr Christmas tree, pine needles everywhere, absolutely everywhere, all up in the trailer. Everything's muddy too. That's got. The, if it's uh, down to bare grass, it's all muddy. The rats are still at it. We've just got rat, more rat traps set up. Hopefully, catch another victim. So, that's it for this snowstorm. Great start to the uh, winter season for 22-23. So, is it 22-23? I don't even know what year it is anymore. He's got another live, more traps set up over there. He's got rat traps everywhere so great start to the winter year and we'll see what else winter brings this year